Dear Peyton, my wife, my two young daughters and I have had a very stressful year. In January of 2014, we learned that we were finally going to have a son. But the good news was quickly taken away when we were informed that the ultrasound showed an abnormality on his abdomen. That's when we went to the specialists in South Bend and they referred us down here. And they told us that his heart was shifted over to the right. This hole called a diaphragmatic hernia allowed the intestines to shift and deposit themselves into the chest cavity. We met with a team of doctors and specialists in Indianapolis to discuss the situation and options. It wasn't promising news that we heard, but I didn't hear anybody say that it was the end either. Clay Alexander Shramsky was successfully delivered cesarean at St. Vincent Women's Hospital. Over the first few days, we had to sort out, was this going to be a very difficult, long illness, or um, were things gonna go better than we hoped? When we tried to feed him, every time we'd get up to full feeds, I think the colon being full of fluid and the intestines put too much stress and pressure on his lungs, and he didn't do well from a respiratory standpoint. When Clay was four weeks old, we learned he would need surgery to remove the intestines from his chest cavity and repair the hole in his diaphragm. With such a risky procedure, we were terrified, but knew it was necessary for him to live. You're always worried the whole time. You, you know, you're hoping for the best, but you just don't know. And he did really well with that operation. I received a phone call from my wife on Thursday, July 24th, stating that we would be bringing Clay home to Mishawaka, Indiana the following day. He may have a different looking belly button, but he, he should have a healthy, vigorous life. But we are truly blessed to have had everything go so well and to have Clay home. Due to your support of such a wonderful group of professionals, you have helped to give our family the most precious gift in the world. Your hospital allows a medical team of angels to perform miracles and give severely premature and birth defect babies hope.